So on the um, <clears throat> images I showed you before, I just used a straight sort of extrude along a path. Uh, I thought I might as well elaborate on this to show you that there's really no limitations. So I'm going to change this to a NURBS curve. and rotate it left and then duplicate along a path four times. Now my copies are tangent to the path. I'm going to take one of them and scale it up by a factor of 1.3 and do the same for the middle one. I'm going to take the loft tool and loft them all together. Going through each curve and make sure that they all start at the same point. and then hit OK. Now I'm going to take the Extract tool and extract an isoparm. What I'm going to looking for is this particular line right here. I'm going to hit Return and that will select two isoparms. I'm going to copy them to a new layer and I don't need the uh, circular one. Now I'm going to select the text tool, go to a side view and just put in one letter and then maybe I'll make it bold. And I'm going to use my extrude or duplicate along the path again. I'm going to put in six this time just to get an even spacing. And I will delete the uh, two end ones. Don't need them for this demo. Now I'm going to take the two center ones and make them a little larger and then select all four and align them to their middle or move them up to the center of that path. Now I'll just use the text tool to uh, change the text as to uh, the wording I want. And now I'm going to delete that curve, select all my text, and uh, go to the text tool and convert to polylines. Ungroup. And now individually I'm going to extrude each element six units. Now that they're all extruded, I can select them all, duplicate them, and change the extrude to minus 6, which fattens them up. Select all and do a add solids. I'm going to return to my uh, original extrusion or loft. And I don't want a solid for this. I want a surface. So I'm going to select the Extract tool and extract a surface. So I'll click on this, hit Return, creates a surface, copy it out and paste it back in. And as you can see, I have a hollow object with my extrusions going through it. Select both objects and do a Subtract Solids. This creates the pockets. 
Now duplicate this and then ungroup it and do an intersect salt. That will create the text. But we're not done. If I uh, select the shell tool, set the units to four, say, click on one of the text surfaces and hit return, it extrudes the rounded text. Clicking this button will move it on the inside. And we're still not done. If I take the extract tool again and align, select face, and click on each of these text objects and hit return, it will extract a nerves curve. If I ungroup them and compose, it will turn each one into four sort of nerves curves. So for example, I can take one of these curves, put in a little circle, and then do extrude along a path to give it uh, an emboss of sorts. And if I move over to this object and pull up a light object, just put it in and then use duplicate along the path. Then I can put a series of lights all over that curve. a Cinema 4D user, all of this can be sent to Cinema 4D, including the lighting, uh, to create effects like this.